Okay, so great. Can we begin? Yep, we can. Uh, we're three minutes in. Um, yep, let's begin. Okay, then uh, the first topic is uh, the related posts part. So like uh, the logic is yet to be made for the related post, but the latest post has been done. Uh, so if you can uh, just open, then Omkar can uh, give some light on it. If it's already merged. Uh, so you can also find it on layer by ng netlify.app or on the preview itself. Okay. Uh, yeah, Omkar, you can take off. Um... And I added the carousel at the end of single blocks. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not very aware of um, what exactly uh, you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, you can hover over the blocks in header and uh, go to any block. Okay. Yeah. And I don't think that the, the blogs themselves okay. actually have links in the header. So you might just have to click on blog. Uh, and uh, hi, uh, I had this, uh, you know, uh, weird situation. Uh, if you could just you know, scroll down to the bottom of the page and now hover over the, uh, let's say, blog uh, in the header, in the header. Okay. And now if you try to go uh, in the drop down, uh, you can see it goes away. You know, there's a, a bit of a space in between. Mm -hmm. There is. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone is working on that. So I just pointed out. Okay. Uh, Shriti, can you just uh, open the Netlify, uh, the layer file? Or yeah, sure. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm on a new laptop. What is the exact URL? Layer file ng mm -hmm. dot Netlify dot app. Ng dot netlify dot app. Yeah. Uh, it happens when you go to the bottom of the page. Um, is this what you're talking about? Yes. I mean, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you just leave the mouse from he header section and then. This yeah, goes on. That's happening with me too. Yeah. Uh, Just pointed that out. <laughs> okay, so like uh, the mega menu is uh, already work in progress. So like the space is uh, a bit of issue. So we'll just uh, look into it. Oh, uh, yes, fine. Uh, Shita, if you can open the second block on the like from the top performance benchmark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and to the bottom. Uh, it's, um, uh, is it okay? I mean, uh, we we were discussing about the dots in the bottom. Uh, what are your opinions? Uh, should it be there or not? Um, um, for me, it doesn't make much of a difference, but I think it's better to remove them if it we can. All right. Um, anybody else? Yeah, from my part, I have about the same opinion as Tanuj that they could go or stay. That, um. The reason that they might go is that the ovals are would need a little bit of work. That they're there's a little bit of um, they're non-standard, I guess, and there's a little bit of shading that's um, off. Not that it's not a good idea, or that they, you know, or that that, that it hurts to have them there. It's just that. Um, they're, they're probably not, they're not necessary. And if we keep them, we'll need to work on them a bit. 
So, um, Umkar, are you, what do you, what do you think? Are you inclined to work on those and style them a little bit differently or is uh, it just all Yes, the I can thing? style them. Uh, it's because of the shadow, I guess, you know, the, the default styling that the library gives, it gives a bit of shadow on the borders. So maybe that's the issue. Yeah. Like a little bit of also, glow. if I click on the second and the third um, buttons, the oval buttons, it's directing me over to the same slide. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, maybe because it's the end. No. Maybe. Um, okay. Yeah, so like for uh, currently with this change, like uh, I have merged uh, that PR. So like uh, these changes are like very much nice to go. And then uh, further uh, also the logic for the related, like, like this one is for the latest posts. So like along with the logic, if any style changes are needed, then that can be uh, done in the, in another PR, so. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, I also had this thing, you know, the title of this cards component, you know, can we, you know, these titles are not completely visible. Um, I think that's, uh, if we could improve that. I think we had a discussion about that. Um, we had two options before either fix the height of the card and uh, we keep in mind that a particular title shouldn't be much longer than this much characters uh, or it, I think it was suggested by Nikhil that if if there is an ellipse that added to the title that is the three dots and user may be inclined to read the complete title and open the blog post don't know if, uh, if that is the case but uh, that was the thinking behind that uh, uh, yeah oh god please go ahead no no go ahead yes yeah, so like i wanted to address an issue over here so like uh, as the card width is uh, shortened up, so like here the height of the first card gets a bit out from the others. So like I, that is because I think the yeah, so, and the yeah, so the yep. both cannot be fitted in the single line, and that's the that's causing the issue. And I think this is just a special case, and we can reduce the uh, we can remove the with love part from the mesh, uh, mesh mesh then it should fit i think yeah <laughs> it's, it's just a special case for this i guess can we think about you know uh, splitting the titles in two lines no. just a suggestion So um, by the way, the challenge that we're talking about right now, it, it's not the related blogs title, rather it's the formatting of the cards themselves. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, a couple of things to do. Um, so is this, this card size is the exact same, it's the same grid that we're using elsewhere? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So we kind of face these problems all around. So, um, uh, so there's there's a couple of things like the uh, unfortunately the our meshmates with love is probably not an anomaly. Um, the two other the the it doesn't take a horror. I mean, you know, it takes a little bit of a long name to make it wrap like that. But but there are um, examples at hand. Actually, if we wrote out um, Patel, Josh, um, Vinoda, uh, Vino, Vinodavi, sorry, um, like his yeah. name, well, then we'd probably wrap it. So it doesn't, like, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. Okay, all right, fine, a couple of things. One, we should, um, yeah, I think it's okay for us to be 
um, definitive, restrictive, if we say, here's the width and here's the height, boom, this, this is the card, thou shalt fit into this card, we will overflow your, everyone should um, bring a, an image for your blog post. Um, the, here's the, just as an aside, like, um, here's the, the ideal image size is these pixels. Um, it's possible that we might be able to control that if we're doing, <clears throat> if we're auto generating thumbnails, we might be able to auto generate a thumbnail that is of the exact size that that would be nice. Not all images though are going to be, um, are going to have an aspect ratio that fits into such and such wide by such and such high. Um, do we do we have the we have the ability to auto auto generate thumbnails now, but are we controlling that at all? Is that just a a plugin that does its own thing? Uh, it's like uh, I'm fixing the maximum height uh, maximum width to I think five hundred pixels. Uh, I it. It can also be done like uh, we can uh, auto generate the thumbnails of a particular height and width. But the oh. problem with that would be if the aspect ratio is not controlled for all the images of the of all the blogs, then it would crop some of the images. Right. I mean, it might be that uh, yeah. So there's. There's an aspect of this that where a human might have to, um, you know, participate in it. That, that there's also part of it where, yeah, I'm not, mm -hmm. there's a couple of considerations about the image, the image itself. S setting maybe setting those aside for just a moment and talking about the rest of the card. Um, a fixed height and width is probably the right thing to do. Like the the page full of blog posts and the related blogs and the latest blogs and wherever we're showing those, we're gonna be a lot better off. The overall page itself will be a lot better off if these are fixed height and widths. Um, starting from there, yeah, it, it's also the case that we will generally have more than a two word or three word um, title inside the blog post. So we could, we can give a couple of things we can do to help give ourselves um, a fighting chance. So on the title of the blog post, and, and actually for the rest of the content of the text, we can reduce the margin a little bit, probably by about half. So we'll still have, if you, you know, if you look at the space from the edge of the card over to the first letter of the title, if we were to cut that in about half on both sides, That'll give us a little more room. Uh, we'll still have a pretty decent looking card. We might not line wrap quite as much with, and, and if we do that for not just the title, but all of the text. Um, another thing we can do is like, so this view, it's, it's not any more condensed than the regular grid view, which is kind of interesting because you see how the, we, we line wrap on the date and our meshmates with love. And that bumps into the sea more, which then ends up overflowing the space that it's supposed to conform to. So it breaks into two and then like, um, so look, one thing to do is, um, is potentially like absolute position the C more and have it on a different Z index or just basically have it unaffected by the overflow of other things. Um, it is because yeah, there's a couple of things that are going on. You'll, you'll hover over the, the card, it'll activate. Actually, Shridi, if you can, can you hover on the card? Um, just, you know, anywhere. Yeah, sure. Okay, and so, and so this is good. This is a step forward. Like the Seymour activates, the title activates, the zoom uh, animation activates. Um, and so in part why I'm pointing that out is that if we really needed to free up space, we could be rid of the Seymour because two things are already activating. Um, actually, I gotta say one thing that's, I don't know, that the card itself doesn't move, which is 
Right, or does it? Can, can you hover again? Can you come off and go back on? Okay, so the shadow doesn't change on this one. Anyway, we're it's definitely going to be the case where uh, what, what I think what where not all the content's going to fit into the card, and what's probably most appropriate for us to do is to try to give things as much space as we can, but also um, cut them off like we do on the title. Is we we force everything to fit within there, and to the extent that it doesn't fit, it gets cut off. So it's kind of like the image. The image doesn't fit. Um, we don't overflow. We cut it off. We, you know, we crop it. Same thing with the title of the author. Same thing with the title of the blog post itself. I'm sorry, not the title, but the same thing with the byline, the author. Uh, something we, we can do to try to get the, the date and the person's name on the same line, which looks nice, is to abbreviate the, the name of the month. If that's a choice, we also want to switch that around anyway. We ideally don't want to start with the day and the month. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Uh, actually, it's, it's like ideally you start with month and then day. Oh. I think yeah. it depends on which. Yeah, so like uh, yeah. it has been updated in on other all uh, sites. I think Omkar uh, just uh, did this PR from between when I updated. So like Omkar, I've just added it in the meetings, uh, meeting minutes as well. So like you just have to change the query to have the month first and the date afterwards. Oh, okay. Like you can have reference for other uh, pages, you can find it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, then, like, if this topic is completed, we can move on to the next one. Um, and uh, yeah. do you all have any uh, no idea about the logic? Like, how can I make the query? Um, so, yeah, what, what is the query based on currently? Uh, it's like, you know, for every post, there is an array of tags, and uh, I want to use that this tag array as a parameter for another query but uh, since this is a dynamic query i it is not possible to use using the use static and uh, these are interdependent so i don't have any idea how i can do that yeah let me look into that on i also do Yes, currently has how to do that. Hi, uh, yeah, fine. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, nice okay, work. Then. Yeah. Okay, then we can move to the next topic. Uh, that's the events page refactoring by Kishore. So, like that pair is in work in progress, but much of the things have been done. So like if we can just demo it. Um, okay, tell me where to go. Events. Okay. Come here. Can't wait for the micro menu to be updated. <laughs> Done. <laughs> huh, I actually can't access it. Okay, there you go. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, in the uh, previous meeting, you told to uh, we discuss uh, to implement the uh, filtering effects like and the uh, hashing cop. Uh, website so i did that uh, actually i wanted to add a join me uh, events button in uh, above the events uh, but uh, jas patel i think i don't know and uh, he told me uh, uh, let, let's wait on that uh, and discuss in the meeting like that so what do you think Uh, okay, so like 
uh, he just asked uh, like we had if you can open the hashicorp website as well oh yeah sure. uh, not hashicorp uh, yeah hashicorp and docker both Okay. Um. Any particular site or Docker.io? No, Docker.io and events. I uh, will move to events over in both of those. Um. Oh, it should be somewhere here. Uh, virtual machine. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, if you can move to the bottom in the Docker speed Docker page. Okay, so like we, uh, so we, we discussed to have uh, something like this uh, for the like attend an event or, but uh, the the thing was like, what will this button direct to? So like that was a question, Lee, can you answer for that? Yeah, so for the like to see all user groups, so, um, right now, if we have, so, so right now we have only two user groups um, and like, I think the link there probably takes you to either events.docker.com or meetup dot like professional group pro meetup pro Docker. If you hover over the link, Shruti, uh, yeah, events.docker. Okay. That's a different platform that they're using. Um, so for ours, we just have two, um, we would take them directly to the individual meetups. So, so yeah. the individual meetup page. So meetup.com slash Docker Austin, meetup.com slash cloud native Austin. Uh, does, that, does that sound right? Or? Um, no, that's. That should be right. Or Josh, I mean, feel free to just uh, So the say thing is like, again. we already have the, like, uh, Shriti, can you go to the events page again, uh, to our sure. website? Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so like there is a tab for meetups and there will be, so if you can open the meetups tab. Okay, so like, uh, this we are having individual over here so wow nice cool oh okay i okay um huh um good this is a good challenge to have this is this is nice thanks the key this is this is good um <laughs> so what we've done here is well key has made our site come much more alive um than it was before so previously, and, and, and so there's kind of two things that are mixed together here now. Um, and it's is definitely, it's a solvable issue. The issue is um, that, and, and the word meetup gets overloaded. It's a little bit weird when you say it, but um, there, there are two groups that are run and they, those individual groups have meetings about once a month the, the two groups one of them is docker austin the other one is cloud native austin and those are uh, those are meetup groups that you as a as a um, member would, would join and then those groups individually have meetings and what we have here are the two groups listed and we also we have them intermixed with the meetings that they have had so conceptually like the September 17th, um, 2020 date underneath the Docker Austin and Cloud Native Austin, like conceptually, <laughs> there, there is no date for those. Those are just ongoing once a month. And the individual events, the individual meetups that have happened inside of those two groups is what, is is what all the rest is listed. And those have dates because those are just like a one-time meeting. So um, one way of addressing this is, <clears throat> is to have like the first row static and it lists just Docker Austin, Cloud Native Austin, no date at just the, the external link. Maybe those two cards are slightly styled differently um, because they're just perma, perma link or they're um, 
they're permanently there, permanently positioned. And all of the rest are, is a dynamic query, you know. Oh, uh, so uh, I'm just kind of coming up. Yeah. Are you suggesting to create a new place for uh, each of the uh, region? For uh, Docker, uh, one page and uh, another thing, one page, like that? I missed part of what you said. Say the first part again. Uh, so, you, so are you suggesting to create in, uh, two separate pages for uh, Docker and uh, another one? Uh, no. So uh, I'll, I'll just, uh, so Kishore uh, Lee states that in this page itself, in this tab itself, we can just have uh, the first row as Docker Austin and Cloud Native Austin. And like you can just uh, give them a different color or style or to those two cards and that can be made static. And for the other cards, like after that first row, uh, we can have that GraphQL query for all the other uh, individual meetups. Okay. Okay. I got Okay, anyone uh, else has anything to add over uh, like this work of Ishur? Yeah, can you, can, we, can you navigate to the other tabs briefly? Yeah, sure. Nice. And then, and the rest of the style of the card is the same or like the interaction if you hover over one is it okay? It's, just, it's the same yep. card type. Same style. Okay. Actually, I did some uh, uh, some more tweaks in uh, the upcoming updates. To coming nice. And what are those? Um, uh, I made the uh, background back shadow for a whole uh, card, so it uh, it lifts. Yeah. I added uh, and I also added the pagination that is what I am working on right now. Nice. Good. Um, actually, both of those improvements are potentially to be leveraged in on other pages as well. Um, the back shadow for the entire card is, I think, desirable all, all around. The pagination, do we, what's the status of that? Collectively, like there was one that was in flight for the blogs, but yeah, yeah, like that in the blogs page we have a pagination. Next, uh, re recently posted and uh, older post like that. So we don't. So we um, at the moment we don't have. Do <clears throat> do we have a pagination plugin that's working, or or pagination component that's working? We have in, I think we have in blog page, I think. Yeah, the pagination plugin is working. Uh, I'm adding more features to it in an, uh, another PR, but the plugin itself is working and it can be configured easily from uh, that Gatsby config, uh, Gatsby node.js file. Nice. And so Kishore, is that the same plugin that you're working with? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Okay. Um, no other comments for me on this this page. I, um, I, well, one one question: um, How, when the pagination plugin is there, do you do you think that you'll end up showing three rows, uh, and then the pagination plugin, or or how many items per page are you thinking? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, You'll, you'll cross that bridge when it comes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, I know. I'm just curious. Um, all right. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Josh, this is yours. Uh, yeah, so there's just a quick demo of what I did in the... Okay. Yeah, so like... Okay. Um, let me just open it. 
yeah if you can move, uh, move, go to the footer yeah so it's just changed the entire design and it has been discussed over the pr so like if anyone else any has any feedback on this then i think i just uh, i commented on uh, the social logins part uh, yeah yeah that component and... yeah yeah like that's the next nothing topic else. we'll discuss yeah nothing else yeah and maybe drop the this is extremely close to the mock up so this is this is this is very great i think in the mock up we the um, font size of the copyright and the privacy and terms i think is reduced by one or two so just okay i'll just look into it nice and then separately the, the next discussion it sounds like is on the button on the social yeah uh so like just a point over here to add so like we discussed over uh, on the pr as well so like if we do have this subscribe to newsletter uh field in the footer uh, then uh do we add the subscribe component as well to the individual pages like just before if you can just scroll up a little bit up shriti yeah sure yeah so like if we need yeah. we are we adding this uh, as well yeah it's um it's duplicative it's duplicative um but it's just kind of how it okay how it goes people people mentally it's kind of like it would be sort of like um hey don't we have an, a header already that has a link to community uh why are we putting a, a footer that has a link to community as well and, like actually of the page that they're looking at it's the community page so they're already on there so why do we even have a link to community at all like those are all good good points and then the, the logic being well cuz it's convenient to have it at the top and the bottom well cuz it's cuz people when they they mentally digest the this request to subscribe as a, as one thing and then separately they kind of digest that other form so we we want to we want to get them <laughs> and uh, and presenting it to them two different ways can okay no problem uh yeah so now uh shriti can you just move to the next topic yeah sure okay um tanuj okay so the yeah, yeah tanuj no the topic is uh, like you skipped the topic ah uh, we haven't all right um just go ahead yeah so like yeah for the first one uh, it's the uniformity of buttons all over the website uh, so like i have created uh, two buttons uh, for the like a primary with yellow so if you can just uh, uh this is been merged right yeah yeah so if you can uh, move to the top yeah so this two uh, this two button styles have been uh, like configured in the so like anyone can use this uh, the color the shadow and everything remains intact you just need to add the title url and all those things so like i've added this to the yellow one is the primary button and the green one is the secondary button and the same would be applicable to all if you move to the programs page or careers page or community page anywhere you see a button it would be of the same kind wait um uh so any feedback on this uh yeah josh i'm i'm trying to pull up the um designs how far off are we or did we not yeah i think hmm. like of the reasonable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gosh i think that you're doing great i i think that there might be feedback but that 
it would be more, it would be extremely easy feedback to incorporate in. Like, <clears throat> I think that there are things that are probably set in stone. Um, so that subscribe button is not as good. As, that's a different thing. And that's not as good as what's the two that Josh is pointing out. So the two that Josh are pointing out, I don't foresee changing a few aspects. Um, if you go, if you would, if you go back to the, the top, those first two, some aspects that I wouldn't foresee changing. And that is um, the roundness, the, the, all of this stuff is like, all these things I'm about to say are really easy to change, even if they did. Um, so maybe it's not, anyway, it's um, in the uh, current mock-up, the corners are both of the, the border of the button, the corners are slightly more round and of the play icon, that triangle, it's slightly rounder as well. And I think that the mock-up is perhaps wrong. Like the, when you round the corners of that play button, it becomes almost cartoonish. Maybe that's okay. Maybe we want a little bit of that in there. Um, but I, but uh, anyway, then, then the interaction where we're changing the color like that, that's working well. The font that's being used, the, uh, the, there's a lot of aspects of this that are, that are good. One thing that bugs me slightly is um, on the yellow. And again, like J Josh, some of this is preemptive feedback because, uh, because the buttons themselves, we haven't congealed totally on the design, but then <clears throat> the yellow, it's black text, not a dark yellow text. Whereas the other button, it's you know dark green, not black. Um, I don't know the the down the um, icon that was used in the mockup for run meshery is was more, something of like a cloud download, which is very similar to what's here. It's the same concept. The problem with both of them is that well we don't we're not yeah in some respects we're people would download and run meshery, but what's the verb that's used here is run. And so the download is, is like slightly off from that. It would be, yeah, we would probably want a different icon. And, and rather than spend time on it, I would say this is probably good for now if you propagate the, you know, the interact, this same button style across the rest, because it's going to be a similar hover and highlight with a color, uh, similar, you know, the, the bones are good. There might be some slight tweaks. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, so like uh, the home page entirely is going to change anyway. So like we'll have those things in that uh, iteration as well. Uh, so like uh, for reference, if you can just open any programs or careers page, uh, you can. Uh, Shriti, if you can open any uh, programs or careers, uh, if you can find them in the footer. Yep. Uh, yeah, so um, if you can move, scroll a bit. Uh, tell me when to stop. Yeah, so like uh, this is the thing I was talking about. So like everywhere you'll just find the same thing, the same buttons as uh, in any page apart from the home page currently. Yeah, uh, and the next uh, component, the next PR uh, that's in progress is for the uh, the tool tip component and the social uh, links component. So if you can just open up the Netlify review for this. Yeah, so we'll just move to the blog first for the tooltip part. Uh, so this is uh, inspired from the mockup. So like the inner icons have to be changed. I'll just look into if I can find something better in React icons. They look, yeah, but um... Let's not waste that time. Like that's, that's, that's good, you know. Okay, so yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Uh, well, the only, um, if we bring them, if we make them more of a pair by bringing them uh, Those closer are together, yeah, you might even give it a try if you would. Like if you remove the border of those, so the thing that we're looking at, Shruti, is the upper left-hand corner. It's the switcher between the grid view and the column view. <laughs> if you were to remove the border um, and just put a, um, a vertical bar between the two, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll just try and add this screenshot in Slack if it suits up. Okay, the next one is if you can open the contact page. Uh, uh not contact sorry about uh, it's in the header it's yeah yeah and if you just scroll a bit so both of the yeah so there uh, the social links component is used currently at two places one is the about page and one is in the footer and both have inverted colors so i uh, tried to have a common uh, filter effect for all these buttons like uh, the issue was like if i use uh, the uh, original colors of those icons let's say red for youtube uh, then those filter would work in one and not in other because it will get get another invert hover so if we can uh, if we can even fix the colors uh, on hover if we want but with the limitation of using filters uh, like this is what i could achieve so any suggestions on this you can pass a prop and from in both the pages like if you're in the footer, you can pass a prop of white and keep the logos as white. And when you hover into hover on a icon, it will change to the brand color. Um, so like, uh, yeah, so if we make it similar to the buttons, we use the primary secondary part. So like yeah. dark mode and light mode, we can do that. Yeah, definitely. But uh, so I did this on purpose. I observed the same thing in HashiCorp website, uh, in footer of HashiCorp. Uh, if you can uh, open up the HashiCorp website once, Shriti. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Hashi. Adam. Adam. My bad. Huh. That's really weird. It's not come. Yeah, if you have yeah, footer. Yeah, and if you hover over the icons over there. Oh, the social oh. icons. Just sec. Yeah, so like they have just a single color filter or something like that. <clears throat> At the moment, it's probably not worth um, iterating on until we try to tie off in the in the mockups. For now, I mean, yeah, it, it so I'm trying to keep an eye on the ball on make going, you know, taking the site live. It's probably good enough for now. You know, even if we brought in colors later. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's all. And a few other CSS tweaks were that. So like that are like that cannot be shown. Uh, so uh, just a question was like, while I was uh, seeing this website, so if you see there are a few tags in the footer as well, like the new or we are hiring. Uh, so like, uh, do we need anything like that? Yeah, right. um, so, it, would, it would be nice. Right now, I don't think that we have one that um, <laughs> other than we're hiring that we would actually put into place. Um, but yeah, you want to try the we are hiring and see how that comes out. Okay, then I'll just uh, look if I can, I have like, if there are enough issues, I won't open up or if there are not, I'll just open up an issue and anyone can take that out. Yeah, so that's all from the work done in this week. And now Shriti, if you move, we have a longer list on work to be done. Um, okay, Tanuj. Uh, okay, the first issue is for adding pagination. <laughs> I, I'm adding them one by one. Uh, uh, I'm most of the things I talked about when Kishore was speaking uh, uh, about how to add them. Uh, so, it, apart from 
currently we have the pagination from for the blogs page and I'm not sure where in which page should I add them to every collection currently I, I think we agreed on uh, the mem community members and the events and and for the learn page we we thought of doing like showing only one or uh, what three books there and some workshops there and adding us something like a see more button should it be like that oh yeah right yeah that that yeah uh, right yeah i think the, the yeah the learn page is a good example of that there was another page um that was an example of that and maybe, maybe it, yeah, it would have been the slash events page, except we have that new style where we're breaking it into tabs. Um, so maybe it's only the learn that would have exactly what you said, which is you know three examples of each. Um, even at that, that that page itself, the learn page, should be an improvement on what it is currently. It, it and this is a design that we need to work on, but it should be more than just three individual rows describing the fact that we have those things. Yeah. So yes, to, yes to Pagnation. Yeah. Uh, okay, so next issue to be worked upon is uh, to make a features feature component. So Shiti, if you can uh, go to the uh, layer five engine, Netlify or any, so actually, Josh, Josh, Josh can, are you able to share? And that way you can just. Yeah, I'll, I'll just share just a second. Great. Perfect. Okay, so is my screen visible? Yep. Yep. Okay, so uh, basically the uh, features feature component is something like for each of the uh, like we do have currently <laughs> we have six projects and we need to like uh, apart from okay so i'll just have to so we do have a feature switcher right in the animated terminal page yeah Okay, so the uh, features feature is the animated terminal uh, we use. Yeah, so uh, like for certain projects like Image Hub or uh, similar, uh, we just have uh, text over. We just have uh, text over there, uh, like simple text and a few links to videos, and so we can just improve on this page by adding a few things. Uh, like if you can uh, use this feature switcher or something like this can even work if you want. So basically we need to beautify the individual projects page by using some components. Perfect. Yep. And the, like you said, the, the feature switcher might be, might be the thing because it might be able to step people through the story of what image hub is and yeah how it's used and what it does uh, okay so like i'll just create an issue anyone in the call willing to take the note and for the, so for those that are on the call that might be thinking about it, um, now is a good time for questions or don't. Um, this is a safe place. Ask your silly questions or what you think is silly, I mean. Um, but we've got a couple of pretty cool components that are sitting idle um, and have yet to be pulled into a project page that really shows off what that project does. 
um, the animated terminal page that we were just looking at, it's got a, two components. One steps you through this an animation using a terminal as you sort of scroll through it. The other one lets you switch between, well, I guess we're calling it a feature switcher. It could switch between other things. Um, so this page has those two components. Th this one, and we need to think about where we're going to put the animated terminal one because it's a big old, it's a big, it's a big thing. You got to have a, a big project to work through. Probably it lands in meshery or like some part of how to use meshery. Um, it could be that this lands into the SMI conformance. Maybe I don't know, but but at the bottom of this page is this feature switcher, awesome component. We can probably use it twice on the site. Because if we use it three times, it starts to get old. It's unique enough that people um, the feel for it. We could we could tweak we could tweak some things so that it doesn't look quite the same. Each implementation doesn't look quite the same. But what we've got here is just you know um, lorem ipsum. We've just got you know um, some junk tossed in there. I'm going to take it. This is um, I haven't really thought this through much, but to Josh's suggestion, like this one may work fairly well on the image hub page. The image hub page has I think like three. Uh, uh, images like a like um, video and a couple of screen ca captures, but there's there's more than that that's available. Uh, so so there's more content that we could bring. Even at that, when we show the feature switcher, it, it could have just three features it's showing or six. So, so it's so if um, so Olu, Vishal. Um, Gerald, um, others that are thinking about something, here's something to think about if, it, if it's of interest. And then assuming no questions or assuming this isn't necessarily of interest or maybe it's something you wanna check out later, um, no, no problem, we'll, we'll maybe move to the next topic. Yeah, so like uh, basically the feature switcher is already made. So if you wish to use or wish to know how to use it, you can message me or Tanuj on Slack and we'll just help you out all that. Okay, so here there is an, uh, this is a very important issue that uh, Omkar just uh, told so the thing is like uh, the height of the uh, header he is uh, like more and when we move down it reduces and uh, due to that the space gets increased so like if we are on the top uh, the space isn't much but if we move to the bottom the space causes the mega menu to vanish so that needs to work upon I think uh, we'll ping Vineet for it uh, or we can like we don't want to anyone else to like then again change things on this. Uh, I, I think we should ping beneath. Um, not because it wouldn't be awesome for for Olu. And by the way, um, Oluseshi, Oluseshi. I'm abbreviating your name to Olu just because I knew an Olu. I know an Olu here in town, and it's so much easier to say Olu. So so I apologize, but. But um, it's not so much that we wouldn't want um, Olu or Gerald or, or, or whomever to jump into the mega menu. It's, it's that actually uh, there's kind of a lot to it and it takes a little while to get into. That's fine. Anybody that wants to do it, no, no problem, jump in. Um, uh, but the reason to ask Vineeth is more so because he's already has his, has his head wrapped around it and could actually um, successfully execute that um, and since he's interning here, he doesn't have a choice. He's going to have to, like, because uh, uh, it's kind of a hard thing to do. But if it if it interests anyone, let you know. Connect up with beneath ready. I'll put his name into the, and get up in there. It, it's a really important component. Um, it's so important that even even Streety, who last time I checked, she she bleeds green. Um, and she loves the site and the work that you guys are doing. She's, hey, Lego. 
Yeah, go ahead. Hey, you were mentioning my name. Oh, I didn't get what you're saying. Yeah, uh, we're talking about a couple of things that might be of interest to, to you or others on this site. Uh, Olu, have, okay. you, have you jumped into uh, React into Gatsby just yet? Yes, I'm just learning it. Oh, nice. Um, oh, yeah, I told you I would learn, so I'm just learning it. But um, I've not deep dive into it like that because my work is just taking a bit of my time. So I'm just trying to be here and there. So just to balance it up. Totally. Uh, well, there's a couple of things that we're about to talk about that might um, might be the right opportunity because some of these things okay. are just, they're, they're like tweaks on existing components or tweaks on existing Exactly. Components. Okay. Uh, so that might be the right, you might have success and sort of learn at the, the same time. Um, okay. So the, the one we were just talking about is the mega menu. Um, and I think, I think we have that one covered. Maybe Josh, if you want to take us to the next call. Yeah. The, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the next one is to revamp the brand page. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, uh, so this is the current brand page uh, for layer five NG website. Uh, so we just need to have a few things fixed over here, uh, like uh, the the background card uh, and shadow. So like we had something for reference if we could use it. So like we just have to keep it simpler. Uh, we don't need these cards. Uh, we can just have it as plain text and plain logos. So like for reference, if you need, you can just visit the hashicorp.com slash brand. So like they have it very simple. And we just uh, we just want to have the same like the text and the download button over here. So like we have very similar things over here as well, and the logos and all those things. Yeah. So we just wish to like if if anyone of you can just jump on it and do that required thing. Uh, so I'll just toss up an issue and I'll just uh, mention if you can, if you wish to work on it, uh, Olo Sheshi. Yeah, yeah, I would I would like to. I would like to. Okay. So, oh. so, so okay. Yeah, a couple, please, um, the um reference uh, was a called link, which is the undercore, so I'll be able to know. On the issue here. Yeah. Yeah, so the reference link I was just pasted in the chat box. No, 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 I mean on the issue. So anytime I'll pick it up, I'll just do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll drop you. I'll just tag you on that issue as well, assign you so you can just work on it. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next, we do have the MeshMates page. Uh, uh, so this needs to have some like we can have just uh, some division to distinguish that there are uh, the mesh mates and then again we do have the ongoing text that was being continued uh, so like a simple revamp if anyone wish to work on it right now or like it is not uh, much of uh, like urgent thing to work like if you already have another issue in interest to work upon, then this can be solved later. But if you wish to like say, so this one will have uh, less uh, things to uh, like give your uh, attention. So like if you are starting up and you want to take some issue, then this can be a good first issue if you uh, wish to contribute to layer 5 NG website. Uh, so like just a few styling tweaks and uh, like I can discuss it in Slack, even if you want. So is anyone uh, willing to take this off? Uh, 
uh, hi um, i think i'm interested in it uh, we'll ask you more in the slack okay okay thank you omkar yeah thanks and the next one we do have is the community page so i was myself going to work upon it but i had to work on a few different things and i also have few different things to work in future uh like the home page as well so like if anyone so lee can you just uh, tell what is exactly some things that can be changed or if yeah um actually there's um related to this so you, you see that we've got individual sections with headings it's like you know our community members their five measurements um we had recently come to conclusion that there's kind of two fonts that we'd like to use on the site the, there's the one that you're currently seeing which is open sans um that's good it'll continue to be pervasively used the second font is um canela's soft and the font files are in the community drive so you can find if you don't have the that font you'll find them in the community drive uh but we knowing that we're going to use both open sans and canela's font on the site there's um the task of loading up that font um probably in a more central way um to news that might be a good thing for you to take a look at so that yeah so that, okay and so yeah so any headings just generally benefit from it but um specific some specific updates on this page um and there's a, there's a few tweaks that need to be done and um it, it's we might save ourselves some time if we produce a design that uh rather than me speaking to it right now but a design that um can be implemented because i think some of the feedback i would give would be a little bit haphazard and would would be good but it would be slightly haphazard uh, so let me let's um repository overview why is that sitting that but i mean like one quick thing might be that that like it's not obvious what's a hyperlink and what's a a heading so yeah i wanted talk about this also i remember i need a color for a link uh, like uh, if you uh, open up any blog josh yeah uh, go to suppose uh, i don't know if this has a link inside yeah yeah so these are the links no, this, yeah these are the links to like uh we are using i think currently uh, there was light uh, light gray color for the links uh, for the links and for the text we are using black so the links and the uh, text are not distinguishable in most of the pages so what colors should be used for the links and this link color is controlled centrally so it's not big deal to change it mm. Let me, let me let me take that action because it's the answer to it is here what the color scheme is yeah. and what the primary there'll be a couple of action colors um and some of what needs to be considered is that like in the footer there's a number of headers um they too change in color they they actually look pretty great but but the the challenge is that when you're on a white background what does that need to be it could be toward the inverse but i but it it really needs to be addressed holistically it needs to we need to say here's the color scheme and let's uh, yeah so like uh, basically in our website we do have the templates uh, like for all the uh, all those uh, pages and there we do have the list of all the primary secondary and hover and uh, colors so like we need to like have a discussion on that after like when we 
yeah uh so i think uh, that's the revamp community page uh if anyone wants to work upon it then i'll open up an issue for that as well uh but i think uh, that we can like uh we can work on it after we have a design or something so like uh for now we can keep it aside uh, lee any thoughts on that security page um well there is one there's one that's the newcomers page has that one made it over to um layer 5ng yeah okay it, um yeah so the the data right there that we have in tabular format the information guides and issue for graph this um that data should not be in tabular format uh so i to interrupt but i think uh, an issue is created and i think someone is already working on it like the one who created the new cover space i think kishor it was it you who created the new cover space no then it was me uh, uh we discussed it in the last meet i think nice okay good uh, cool um okay okay then uh, last few topics if like this is uh, a discussion if you have any other work and if you wish to jump off then like the meeting is officially i think shiti can better explain on this uh yeah thank you for joining in if the meeting has gone on for too long and you need to jump off as just said please do so no hard feelings there we completely understand that you have other meetings and we tend to go 5 10 minutes off the a lot of time but you don't have to stay for that and thank you for joining in see you next week same time um briefly i'll, I'll say this that the, there's the, the landscape page is uh is a work in progress and it's highly referenced uh so when we bring forth the new one oh wow it's looking better than it was good uh good the again some good bones um th this table is a lot uh probably is a significant improvement than what it was the, the coloring needs to be updated but but again like i i i would I actually won't comment on it because it it needs to come we need to need to kind of go through that that design process um and uh what's his name um augustine was here working on that uh in, in an internship his internship is ending um to uh, just ended yesterday so he won't he won't be working on those but but they're they're much needed uh to help just provide central reference for all of us as we're as we're implementing like hey what are the colors what are they supposed to be used for what does a table to us what does that look like um and so yeah some of some of the feedback kind of hinges on that one thing to do this is a little bit harder one thing to do is um on the there's the component for how it works to take the how it works component and put in each of the service mesh logos and replace the five logo in the middle with meshery logo this is going to be an awesome thing but yeah so simple a, a relatively simple task is to take each of the service mesh logos that we already have as assets on this site and put them around the circle in the middle of the circle put meshery uh yeah so for reference these are the icons that can be used um is that of interest to anyone to work on that animation if 
no one is going if no one takes it up i can take it up good yeah thank you Tanush. i think vinayak will be he's doing tests right now uh, exams are going on but he'll, he'll be back at some point vinayak Tanuj, as you look at that vinayak had one further yeah yeah uh, i remember he had implemented the extra icons like the second uh, round uh, I think it's slash service mesh. Am capital. No, no, no hyphen. Cool, cool, yeah. Good. Well, then, Tanuj, you you're a good one to work on this since you're familiar with the. Cool. Yeah. Well, okay, so there's some margins issue. Uh, yeah, so like, uh, I'll just first uh, get on what is on the list and then, so there are two tasks for Lee. Like not you, but you opted to work on that. Uh, so like if, or you can just provide the data required to someone Sure. Yeah. Um, so a, little, a, a quick word on redirects. We're as we move from one instance of the site to the new version. Okay. There's some restructuring of the site itself. Um, some of the links will change, um, like the slash books. That that link. Um, we will support people going to layer five io slash books, but when they do, we actually just want to redirect to layer five IO slash learn slash books. We want to relocate that page a little bit. And, and so we did, and this is an example of um, how to do that. So to Josh's point, um, I need to provide a little bit of, of, there's some, there's a working example already. I need to provide a little bit of information about which pages should redirect to others. Uh -huh. No, so like, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I meant was like a, f a few lines after the title and before, like currently it looks like uh, every page is a collection of cards. And uh, if you look into the learn books, then again, it's something cards and then workshops, it's cards and blog, then it's cards. And similarly, if you move to the um, programs, then again, it's cards. It's like uh, some text should be provided, I guess, for each page, a little bit of description or something. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Um, yep. Um, that's an action item for me. Yeah. Yep, I don't, yep, yep. Yeah, so these are the two things. Uh, so like, uh, if you can, if like if you can just provide data, then some, we can add issue and anyone else wants to take that as a good first issue, then also it can be fine or you can do it like, and uh, so currently our main focus is on three things. Uh, one is the home page. The other one is the meshery page. And the third one is the landscape page. Uh, so like we do have design for home page and we also do have very much design of meshery page and that can be transformed. And for landscape, uh, we do need a design. Uh, and the other things that we already discussed are like, those are the things that needs to be improved, but these three pages that are needed to be created from scratch. So like our main focus is on to create those three first and then we move on to those uh, improvements on other pages. Uh, so if uh, anyone else wants to take the home page, no issues or I'll take the, uh, like just do the same thing as I did on the footer, <laughs> replicate the design that we already have for the, ent the entire home page as well. Uh, 
if let me see if i can share the design as well yeah so um, this is the home page design and it's been approved uh, so these are the things that has to be incorporated or changed and here we can have those books demo or image or poster so like this is approved rightly so i can just start working on it yeah it's actually i guess it's slightly confusing it's it's actually the the header that's a, that's approved um oh so the, sorry sorry yeah and then the um the, the header and footer are basically what's approved the that said the um the first two large sections the representing every service mesh and operate any service mesh with confidence those are as, we may as well consider that they're approved like if something changes it's maybe the size of the icons or the um, change with confidence to green or we would change every to black or something like that it would be small tweaks so, but uh, otherwise those first two yeah we we, you, we can go forth with okay and uh so we do have uh two more pages uh, this is what is a service mesh and when should they deploy a service mesh uh, so yeah. do, we don't have any design for mesh repair is it so uh, correct now there isn't a design that's been done for the mesh page itself that component though or that section what is a service mesh with the um, book in the background that that's good to go. Like that's something that someone can implement. The the black. Do you need a service mesh with the green circular button? Like that. That's a component that could be made as well. Uh, so I I just had a question. Like, are we going to have individual pages for them, or the entire why we should have a service mesh as a section in the home page or mesh or somewhere? I mean, it'll probably it'll probably end up, we'll end up having a, an an entire page dedicated to like why do when when should I deploy a service mesh and okay. on the page yeah yeah that, but that that component though like what is a service mesh like even though it would be on that page we'd probably use it once or twice elsewhere because it's a general resource that we would present to people. And the do do I need a service mesh like that question? Um, we might put that as a that that black box. We might put that as a call to action on a different page to pull them back to this questionnaire. This page this page overall is intended to be a questionnaire, which is like when should I implement a service mesh? And those bars, those horizontal bars, that's that's really the majority of what this page is intended to be about is helping people answer this question. And depending upon where they move the bars, will um, um, give them different counsel. You probably send them an email as well. Okay. And... So the two things that are probably like people could take forth is the component with the book in it, and then the component, the black background that says, "Do I need a service mesh?" Okay, so uh, the thing is, like, we do have, like, in Get to Be website, we do have sections, uh, and each page is divided into multiple sections. So, any one of you in the call wants to work upon on a smaller issue first, then it's basically just create a section for this part. It's a gradient uh, title, a few text, and an image, and that would be pretty easy if someone wants to work upon it. Yep. Also, um, we'll start to the, 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 the huh, we'll start to look for an um, a visual designer. There's a 
visual designer internship to, that's opened up or, uh, or a part-time role or potentially a full-time role. If people know of any, if, of anyone. So with that, um, that might be about, that might be about all for today. Those two components that we were just talking about, or those four rather, um, we could probably make issues on and, uh, yeah, we can add these screenshots in the issue itself so someone can get a better idea and who does not want to uh, move over here. Nice. Okay, so will that be an action item for Shriti for those issue creation, Shriti? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, okay. so that's all from my side. <laughs> Anyone else wants to take over? I guess. Yeah. Um, no, if anyone doesn't, as you mentioned that section, yeah, you know, yeah. do I need machinery? Uh, I think I'm inclined towards it. Um, so you can consider this. Yeah. Oh. yeah so, uh, Shiti will just create an issue and uh, like mention you and the issue. So if you uh, think you can work, then you can just ask her to assign you the issue. Yeah, yeah, I look more into it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, about the carousel, I, uh, I have to take the dots away, right? For now, uh, as mentioned above. Correct. For now. For now, yeah. I'll just take them away. Mm, all right. Then I guess that's it. Yeah. Uh, thank Thanks. you for coming on and staying for the next half an hour. Yeah. Thank you all. Yeah. See you guys. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.